Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix stop error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Before we jump into the solutions, let's quickly understand what a stop error is. It's a critical system error that forces your computer to restart unexpectedly, causing potential data loss. It is also known as the blue screen of death. Whatever the problem is, let's move on to the first method to fix this issue. If the stop error indicates system file corruption, then this method will definitely help to fix the problem. To do this action, you will need a Windows installation media or Windows recovery media. If you don't have, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now, insert your Windows installation media and go to your PC's BIOS by pressing the BIOS key during startup. Here, my BIOS key is F2. Check your manufacturer information for the BIOS key. The BIOS user interface may vary depending on your manufacturer and BIOS version. So, for key instructions, check the BIOS item specific help. Once you are in the BIOS setup, navigate to the boot option. Now select your Windows installation USB as primary boot priority order to boot from that. Once done, save configuration changes and exit from the BIOS setup utility. Select your language preference and click on next. Click on repair your computer. Then troubleshoot. And open the command prompt. Before you run the command, ensure that you know the drive letters for the partition where the offline Windows installation is located. So type the command bcd edit and press enter. To locate the drive letters for the partition where the offline Windows installation is located. As you can see, in my case, the offline windows is on E drive. So in the command prompt, I'll be type the command sfc space for slash scan now space for slash off booter equals to e colon backward slash space for slash off winder equals to e colon backward slash windows. Note, if the offline windows is on different drive, Replace E with the correct drive letter in the command and press enter. The system file checker will start scanning your offline windows instruction for corrupted or missing system files. This process may take some time to complete, so keep patience. Once the scan is finished, the utility will provide a report on whether any issue were found and whether it was able to repair them. You can review the result to see if any action were taken. If the system file checker utility repaired any issues, it's a good idea to restart your computer to ensure that the changes take effect. Ok, as you can see, it's working properly. If the first method did not work in your case, then try the second method. Boot your computer from the installation media. Select language preferences and click next. Click repair your computer. Then troubleshoot. Choose advanced option. Select system restore. Select your operating system. Windows will now start the system restore wizard. Click next to proceed. You will see a list of available restore points. Choose a restore point that was created before the issue occurred. Click next to continue. 
Review your sections to ensure you have chosen the correct register point. Click finish to confirm and begin the system restore process. Now Windows will ask for start the restoration process. Please do not interrupt this process. Let it complete. Once the process is complete, your computer will put into Windows with the system restored to the chosen point in the time. Note, the exact steps and options might vary based on your Windows versions. Be sure to follow the on-screen prompts and instructions provided during the recovery process. Well, as you can see, the boot was successful without any interruption. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.